Good morning, and welcome to Channel 74 News. I'm Kaden Shope, and today is Thursday, September 29th. And I'm Sierra Bender. Kaden and I will be your anchors for the next few broadcasts. Believe it or not, but next week is homecoming. That's right, next week. Student Council has lots planned, including Spirit Days, a pep rally, and the dance on Saturday night. Kaden, you forgot one pretty big event. What's that? The homecoming football game on Friday night. Oh yeah, that is a pretty big deal. Reporter Eileen Hauser spoke with Mrs. Yanish and student council officers Kelsey Davis and Alana Haynes about homecoming. Here's Eileen. Thanks, Kaden. I'm here with Mrs. Yanish and student council officers Kelsey and Alana. Thank you for joining us today. Mrs. Yanish, spirit days are a big part of homecoming week. Can you tell us about what the days are? Sure. Spirit Week will start next week on Monday, and Monday will be Jersey Day, so you can wear any um, sports team or professional team that you want to support. Tuesday will be our Western Day, so flannels, jeans, anything that you feel supports that Western theme. Wednesday will be our Pink Out Day. Thursday will be Crazy Sock Day, and Friday will be our Maroon and Gray Spirit Day. And remember that any student who participates on those days will earn points towards their class uh, Spirit Week competition, um, which will include the hall decorating um, and money collected at lunch for the Cumberland Valley Breast Cancer Alliance. So all of those points will go towards your team to win the Spirit Week trophy. Kelsey, what are your plans for the pep rally? So the pep rally will be outside at the track, um, and we're going to have some fun activities planned, and the homecoming court will also be announced. So, And then the cheerleaders are going to be performing as well. And Alana, the dance is next Saturday night. What's the theme, and when do tickets go on sale? Um, our theme this year for homecoming is a Western theme, and the tickets will go on sale this coming Monday through Friday. No tickets are sold at the door. Um, remember, you have to have an ID, and if you're having a guest coming from an outside school, you have to have your permission slips in by tomorrow, Friday the 30th. So, Thanks for your time today, and now back to Sierra and Kaden. Nice job, Eileen. It's exciting that homecoming is next week. In other news, during the pandemic, students received free breakfast each morning. Although the program was stopped this year, but guess what, Kaden? What's that? It's coming back. Reporter Aubrey Stake spoke with Mrs. Luffy and has the story. Thanks, Sierra. I'm here once again with Mrs. Luffy. Mrs. Luffy, last week when we spoke, you mentioned the free breakfast program. Can you provide us with an update? Sure. I'd love to do that. Um, this past month, our governor actually um, proposed that all students in, enrolled in school get a free breakfast starting October 1st. So starting next Monday, all of our students are eligible to have free breakfast. And so the routine for that will be you will enter the cafeteria, um, do a grab and go. They will already be pre-packaged breakfasts. And you will grab them, um, put in your ID number, and head to your first block class. And so then you'll have your breakfast in first block. Make sure that you put the garbage in the garbage can and anything that is potentially recyclable, put it in the recycling bin. Make sure you don't use the recycling bin for the garbage can. And um, that's as simple as it is for the free breakfast. Um, you must be in the cafeteria to get free breakfast by 723. So if you are not in the cafeteria by 723, the doors will be closing to make sure that everyone can get through the line and to their classes by 725. So all students should be in their classes, even if they get breakfast, by 725. All right. Also, we understand that you'd like to recognize two students for recent high honors. Yes, that's uh, true. Um, I got notification from the National Merit Scholarship Program that we have two students here at the high school that scored high enough on their PSATs last year that they are in the um, commended student category for the National Merit Scholarship Program. And those two students are Angela Kai and Noah Evelyn. So congratulations, Angela and Noah. All right, that's great news. Congrats, Angela Kai and Noah Evelyn. And thank you for your time, Mrs. Luffy. And back to you guys. Nice job, Aubrey. And don't forget, kids, you must be in your first block class with breakfast by 725. A few announcements before we go. Key Club meets today in the auditorium. New members are welcome to attend. The Maroon pl Platoon is sponsoring a fan bus to tomorrow's away game. Cost is $2, and forms can be picked up in Mrs. Topper's room. And the theme for tomorrow's game is Pajama Night. D&D Club has an organizational meeting today in room 71. That is it for today. 
Thanks for watching. Kate and I will see you next week. And as always. Say classy Shippensburg! Former superintendent. Oh, he's substituted. Uh -huh. Interesting. That would be an Who's that? That would be an Free breakfast program. Can you provide us an update? Sure. Um, Governor Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Why did I say Governor Ridge? Ridge has been years. I know. Is he even still living? I don't I think he is. Oh.